All right, let's get started with some Win2D development. In this episode, we're going to just set up the environment and we're going to just create a simple application that draws maybe some shapes on them to the screen. So at this point, you might be asking, what is Win2D? Well, Win2D is a new graphical API for creating universal application in Windows. It's very fast and it integrates with XAML. So, you know, it's pretty good. So let's get started by creating a simple application that draws some primitives on the screen. The first thing we have to do is launch Visual Studio 2013. If you do not have a copy, I think you can download the Community Edition, which is for free, on Microsoft's website. Check the link below the video um, so you can go get it. So let's launch it up. So we're here in Visual Studios and So we're here in Visual Studio, and the first thing we need to do is create a universal uh, application project. To do that, let's click on File, New, Project, and under Templates, go to Visual C Sharp, Store Apps, Universal Apps. Click on the blank app project right here, and give it a name. We're going to name it EP1 for Episode 1. You can name it anything you like, but this is what I'm going to name it and you need to press OK. Visual Studios will create <coughs> Visual Studios will take care of the rest. What we have here is a blank project uh, with three solutions in it. The very first project right here is for the Windows 8.1 desktop. The second project down here is for the Windows Phone 8.1 and the third project is kind of like a shared project in between uh, the two projects so you can add in classes and whatnot that you want both these projects to access we can build the project by clicking this green play button right here uh, and since it's a blank solution uh, it will just open of course a blank window like so exit this uh, program uh, move your mouse over to the corner right right here and, and you can barely see it but it has a little red box and that's where the X is so click on the X and then to uh, return to your editing mode press uh, this red stop button right here you can also go up to debug and stop debugging here as well there we go and I'm going to share some shortcuts with you so um, you don't have to use your mouse each time and it's much faster using the keyboard. So to start the debugging process, just click, I mean just press F5. And when you're done, uh, you want to return to editing mode, just, well, uh, press Shift F5. And you're back. Now, Now we're just going to focus on the Windows desktop project for now and the very first thing that you should ask yourself because this is just a drawing project is how do I draw something on the screen? Well this, well, this is where Win2D comes in. It provides functions that we can use to draw uh, shapes and images onto any canvas control we like. We just have to provide the right arguments. Like all libraries, we need to add a reference uh, to it into our project, and we can easily do this in Visual Studio by using their Nugget interface. I don't really know if it's called Nugget, it might be called Nougat, but I gotta just call it Nugget for this whole series. Now, select the 8.1 Windows project for now, and click on the References uh, little folder here. Right click on that, and then select on Manage Nugget Packages. And this is where it we can download um, pre-compiled libraries and it will install it. So it takes care of the hard work for us. Okay. All you want to do is search for Win2D. And there it is. Click on it and click on install. Agree to their license agreement. And that's as easy as it gets. It's installed in the Windows 8.1 desktop project. And we want to repeat this 
in the phone project so right click on references right click on that uh, manage nugget packages win 2d again install and we're done now if we try to compile and run the solution we'll end up causing um, architecture errors uh, like so it will tell us down here it tells us to switch the um, target platform to either of these three things which uh, we can do by going to build and then going into configuration manager and then as you see there's windows and windows phone switch that to um, we'll do x86 and then switch this to x86 as well and then close it let's see if that works click on play and no errors all right let's exit this out shift f5 to bring it back to the editing mode <coughs> now what I want to do right now is just focus on the desktop uh, part of the universal application so the very st the starting point of any um, project if you didn't modify any default stuff it's going to be a page called main page xml and it's right here you double click that and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a preview of a uh, of the source code what it's currently is going to display as you can see it looks like a like a tablet so anything that we add into it will will show you a preview of what you change also it shows you the source code of the um, of the XAML file and there's two actually two types of source code here um, the XAML and then there's something called code uh, behind which is in C sharp and it's right here so you just click on the down arrow and you get the CS file so basically if you're used to Windows Forms that's what this is so this is basically your designer file and this is your the meat of the code so like any project <coughs> like any library you need to add in um, kind of like a header file to the the project so uh, what we're going to do excuse me so what we're going to do is add in a name uh, a reference to the namespace of win2d we're going to do that by just adding it right into uh, the page tag here so we're going to call this uh, canvas uh, you can call it anything you like but I, since we're working with a canvas just why not call it a canvas right and then just select Microsoft Graphics the canvas and we should be done there and what we want to do is we want to create a surface for us to draw on and to do that um, there's a special tag called canvas control and we're just going to add it right into the very first grid um, element here so canvas control Okay, it's not giving me that. Okay. What we want to do is first add in the canvas control. Like this, like that. And we're going to give it a name of my drawing surface. That should be good. And when we click on it, um there's we can go to there's properties that we can change but we're not concerned about that and as you can see by the preview here it stretches across the whole tablet which is fine that's what we want now we just we just want to concern ourselves with just two events and the two events are going to be click on this uh lightning arrow thing the two events we're concerned with is uh, create resources here and the draw so in create resources this is where we load in assets just as images and then in the draw is course is basically uh, we call our draw functions which will draw to the surface 
and then we have our shapes on the screen. So let's uh, create some event handlers uh, for those those uh, functions. So all you have to do is just, just double click this box here, and it will create a uh, template for you. Uh, go back to the main page of XAML and do that for the draw as well. Now we should be ready to start drawing under our, on our surface finally. Now <coughs> the simplest thing we can draw is uh, like a line or something, right? So let's draw a line and what we want to do is um, grab a reference to uh, the surface or what they call a canvas drawing session. So. First, we have to add in the namespace as well here. Microsoft Graphics Canvas. And then in the draw function, uh, event, uh, just create a canvas drawing session, which is going to be um, passed as argument when the event gets fired. So I call this CDS for short. And there it is. You just grab it from the arguments so I don't have to retype this all the time. Now we have a, a surface that we can draw onto. And it has a lot of functions that you can call that are already built in. And one of the simplest things you can do, like I said, is draw a line. So it's just called draw a line. Like that. Give it, uh, and you can check out all these overloads here. And it, there's so many overloads that you can do. And I recommend just checking out their website and figuring out which draw line that you want to do to fit your needs. Uh, ours is pretty simple. We're going to draw a line from the very top corner of the screen, which is 00, zero to about 200, 200, which is should be like around here somewhere. So uh, I should spec a line from here, that's where my mouse is, all the way down to about here on my screen. And then we just give it a color, Windows UI colors about white or something. Now we're gonna press uh, the play button here or you just press F5 and we should see a white line and there it is. There's a white line. That's exactly what we want. Okay. What else can we do? We can do we can draw a circle. Right? So draw a line from 0, zero to 200, 200, white. Right. Now we can draw a circle as well. Draw a circle. And draw circles, it's, it's, um, it's arguments uh, as well. They have a lot of overloads. But this most simple one is you just give it a x and a y and a radius. So let's draw it 300, 300. So a little bit southeast of the line radius of 50 and let's give it uh, a yellow color so draw a circle at 300 300 for a radius of 50 now let's see what that looks like there it is wow pretty cool <laughs> okay what else can we do we can actually fill the circle uh, we can do another thing fill in the circle with fill circle let's do it at 500 550 um, and let's a green circle let's fill Right, so let's see that what that looks like. There it is. So we have our line, our circle, and our fill circle. Now, the next thing we have to do is let's draw a rectangle. So there's also a function called draw rectangle, and basically you just give it a starting point, um, our x or y, and the width and the height. That's pretty simple and check out the overloads as well. So we want that. Let's go, I don't know, 200, 
200, 100, with a width of 100, height of 100, and a color of blue. Let's see what that looks like. There it is. Pretty nice. Shift that fly to break it out. And of course, you can draw a fill rectangle as well. So let's try 400, 400, 40, 40, and. Make it red. There. Oh. Okay, we got a mistake here. We are expecting that to be filled. I'm guessing I called the wrong function. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay, it's supposed to be fill rectangle. Now let's give this a try again. There we go. So we got a single line, a rectangle, a circle, a fill rectangle, and a fill circle. And that's about it uh, that we can use to draw primitives onto the screen. Now, another thing that you might be asking is how do I draw, you know, text onto the screen? And that's pretty simple. It has a, like I said, Windows Win 2D is is absolutely simple to use. It has a function called draw text, and we can draw hello world. Hmm, how generic, but oh well. So let's draw text here, and we'll give it 400, 800. So it's pretty low. Uh, actually, the parameter is first. The text is first, and then the point, and then the color. We want that as, uh, let's go pink. And let's see what it looks like. There we go. Now we have all these objects on the screen exactly where we want it and that's your introduction to Win2D. Now the other draw functions that we did not cover in the tutorial not covered no are you can draw a eclipse you can draw a fill clips, I think. Yeah, fill clips. Yep. And you can draw a round rectangle. Like the corners would be round if you know you like that kind of thing. And you can fill round rectangle. So there you go. And I think the most important one uh, is we'll cover uh, later in the series is something called draw image, which uh, if we load in an image as a sprite, it will draw it, um, given a transform any effects that we like to do. So, there you go. And I think we can end it here. You can grab the source code to this project um, in the links below as well. If you don't have Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition, go and grab that, okay? Okay, so for the second episode, uh, what we're going to be doing is we can load in images um, uh, from the hard disk or images that we load into the asset folder right here and then we're going to draw it on the screen and then we're going to create a very simple content pipeline that uh, uh, we can use to reference that image so until then see ya